Today I'll show you the easiest free way to use FileZilla client to upload and download files from your website using FTP or SFTP. So go to the description, click this link and it will redirect you to the FileZilla website. Don't worry, it's completely free. Make sure you download the client application only, not the server one because we are transferring files between our computer and our website. So I'll click download and begin the installation. Once done, open it and you should see something like this. To initiate a connection, click the file tab from the top left, then site manager and then choose new site within the window that opens. Now, before we move ahead, we need to make sure that our site is not lost during the process. So we should always take a backup before transferring files. You can use a free backup plugin for this, like Avdra Plus, which is good because it takes full backup, but restores your site partially. So my recommendation is BlogWord because it takes backup of each file of your site and restores 100% of it. Once you've taken your backup, let me show you how to establish a connection between your computer and your website. You must enter your host, username and password from your FTP account, which you can find in your hosting account. My website is hosted on Bluehost, so I'll show you how to find them. But don't worry, the steps are almost similar for other hosting sites as well. So I'll log into my Bluehost account and then on the left, click on advanced tab. I'll find the FTP accounts menu. Here it is. And then I'll create a fresh FTP credentials to use in FileZilla. So fill out the username, the domain name, and a strong password. We'll leave the directory options blank to ensure access to all the server files. Then click create FTP account and you're done. Now let's put these credentials in FileZilla and then click on connect. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. Once you're in, the window will split into two main panels. The local side panel to the left displays your computer files and the remote side panel to the right displays your website files. Navigating through these files is fast and effortless. Simply click on folders to expand them and see their content. Also, here are some handy keyboard shortcuts for you. Let's say you're updating your site with the latest blog post and images. So there are two ways to transfer your files, the drag and drop method and the upload method. For the drag and drop, drag your selected files from the left panel and drop them into your desired folder on the right panel. Next, you can use the upload method. Right click on the chosen file and click upload. The files will begin transferring to the selected location on your server. While your files are being moved, track the transfer at the bottom of the window. This area shows the progress of each file upload. Green means you're good to go. And if any errors pop up, they'll show up too. And you can retry or fix them as needed. To make sure everything transfers correctly, refresh only the remote site panel and verify that your site are in the right place. For instance, double check the file sizes or dates to ensure they match your local versions. And there you go. You just uploaded files to your website. Now, FileZilla is a robust FTP client but users often encounter these common issues. For example, timeouts can result from the wrong server details or network issues. Make sure you have the correct host name, port ID, username, and password. If the error is still there, double check your firewall or antivirus settings to ensure FileZilla has proper access to all your files. Next, file permissions and ownership issues can prevent transfers. Adjust the permissions in FileZilla by right-clicking a file, hitting file permissions, and changing the settings as needed. If ownership is your concern, you may need to use the command line or contact your hosting provider for a solution. Then there's always a risk of losing connection or overwriting files during transfers. Also, files can sometimes end up being corrupt. So be safe and always back up your site files before making any changes. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.